where we are. Well, that's Mount Tady up there, rising. It's the azure skies of Puerto de la Cruz, uh, just like a majestic David chiseled by Michelangelo, except of course with all the uh, crinkly bits uh, broken off and uh, chiseled to a point. I'm showing you Tady because it made the news two days ago because there was a, a very light dusting of snow, which and it was incredibly interesting trying to watch the the Spanish newsman trying to make a story, a 10 minute story segment uh, about 25 flakes of snow on the top. I'm telling you that too because that's the only indication you'd have if you came here that it's winter. So today is Christmas Day and it's, uh, ooh, I'm in a t-shirt. Be pleased to know because it's uh, 23, get, it's going to get to 25 today. And uh, this is not just to rub it in. I just want to remind you that this is one of my favourite uh, cities in the Canaries. One of the most beautiful. And if you're thinking of booking somewhere for a bit of winter sun, Tenerife might seem a bit cliche, but it's a great place to come. We just did a film yesterday in a place called Garachico. Uh, and if it's up for this one, you've got to watch that one. Garachico, which is just uh, it's about an hour from here. It was voted one of the 10 most beautiful towns in Spain and probably the only one that's not on the mainland. Uh, you have to see that video. This, I reckon, comes a close second. It's only going to be a short walk. I just want to uh, encourage you perhaps think about booking a little holiday here. So we're in the north of the island. Most Brits will go down to the south, Costa Adeje, Los Cristianos, Playa de las Americas, because it's always going to be hot down there. But it's also, and it's very sandy, that's true, but it's also very arid. Uh, here, it's lush, it's green, it's vibrant. It can be a little cooler, but as I say, it's going to head to 25 today. I think I can live with that, can't you? So, Puerto de la Cruz. You will find sometimes, uh, coming through the sort of like the winds from the spring, you're going to get a little bit more rain than you would down south here, of course. But the benefit is, if it's looking that way, you can just jump on a bus and go down south. And chances are, you'll probably find it nice and dry down there. This is one of our favourite squares, by the way. One of our favourite cafes just over in the corner there, the Agora. They've served us uh, many a fine drink. But things are starting to open up here even on Christmas Day. So again, if you wanted to come here in summertime, it's going to be warmer. Even here on the north side of the island, it can get to 25. Well, it's always going to be 25 probably at least. It can get up to 30, as I mentioned in the Garachico walk yesterday so great place to come if you come to the north here you're going to get a more a mix of cultures what's lovely here people speak a bit more Spanish if you're going down south what was really weird was that I went into a cafe in Costa Adeji and I just ordered a coffee I just happened to order it in Spanish and the guy said to me do you know what he said you're the first person in an entire month that wasn't Spanish that actually has spoken to me in my own language. So I'm not really sure how I should feel about that. If you're a fan of street art, uh, we are. I know some people aren't, so that's fine. But there is some lovely street art around here. There's particularly this quarter, there's probably a good dozen or so pieces for you to find. All completely different, all great. You know, it's not it's not graffiti. It's uh, it's taking sides of buildings that look drab and you know just uninspiring, and just bringing them to life. So uh, accomplished artists, all of them. Anyway, what about me ranting on about that? So yes, if you come here, uh, weather's more variable, but people speak more Spanish. It's more inter international. 
It's the hotel we just stayed in. Uh, lots of French, lots of Germans, lots of Spanish, uh, lots of Eastern Europeans. You stay down south, you're gonna get a lot more. It's just gonna be British, um, probably German. So uh, yes, it can be quite nice coming up here. It's got more Spanish vibe, a bit more authentic. Of course, you might just want pound a pint and burger on the, on the seafront and that's fine if you you've got plenty of that down south. But even there, you know, even there, not to knock it, it's still got charm. I mean, it's the reason why those resorts developed is simply because it's actually a beautiful stretch of the coast. It's the same thing with Benidorm, you know, actually, <laughs> putting preconceptions aside, you can go to Benidorm and it can be beautiful. There's parts of it that are absolutely lovely. Um, yeah, it's a lovely strip of coastline. There's bits at the back, maybe aren't my favorite, but that's just a personal thing. So anyway, Tenerife, if you're thinking now about, all right, I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna get some winter sun. Tenerife is a really good choice. And uh, what we'll do is we'll finish up here uh, it's getting a little bit busier. I'll show you a nice little cove where people can go swimming. And it's uh, towards the right in the center of town. Well, we're off to Gran Canaria soon. And then we'll be back to our lovely Madeira. There's some interesting things planned for Madeira. Wow, the sun is shining and it's uh, standing in the sun. It's pretty warm, as I say. This is not bad for Christmas Day, is it? Let's come up this way. Here's the big fair that's on over the Christmas time. Obviously it's not going now at the moment. If you've got kids, that's always good. And here's then is uh, one of the bathing spots coming up. So this area more, you're gonna find uh, not so much of the white sandy beaches you will in the south. You get lots of bathing spots, you get lots of rock pools, you get lots of man-made Lido's carved out of the rock, uh, designed by a very famous artist who I often harp on about, especially when I talk about Lanzarote, and that's Cesar Manrique. Uh, if you want to know why Lanzarote looks as nice as it does, or the way it does, you can put most of it down to that one man. That's why Lanzarote hasn't been spoiled with uh, just a, a huge wall of apartment blocks on its seafronts. Why it looks just so beautiful. But here, I'm going to leave you the sounds, the sights of Puerto de la Cruz. Talk to you soon.